Midway is the punk rock, you know, they're like the Ramones or the Sex Pistols of the video game industry. If their game became very successful, you're gonna make a lot of money. Keeps on fire! I'd buy that for a dollar! I always thought with video games when you make them, somebody would come with this book. This is what we're gonna make and we start page one and we start making it. It was never like that. It was like, so what do you guys wanna do? The games are louder. The graphics are more detailed. More, more blood, more blood. Toasty! What game does that? They've got this game, Mortal Kombat, and you can kill people. Yeah, isn't that really cool? What the hell? <laughs> we can do whatever we want. We wanted to crush the player. We want to give them a greater challenge. A la vista, baby. This is probably the greatest story of Midway. I call it like the Big Bang of the video game universe. I mean, we went from blank screens to all of a sudden, no one had seen anything like that in the video game. We went to the well too many times. And that was the end of Quino. We're going to sue the crap out of them. I don't think it hit me till decades later that my image is still in there. I have daughters now, they're gonna see this. Sometimes I'd sneak up behind him, guy would take a shot and I'd go, ugly shot, boom shakalaka. He'd turn around and go, hey, you sound like the guy. I am the guy, dude. I remember thinking to myself, wow, I'm working with gods. Mortal Kombat. Mark. T2. The grid. You know what a game is? A game is a hundred of those cool things, and now you have one. We've got the godfather, the doctor of video games. Uh, what do you call yourself? Ah, uh, face. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. That's good. That's a wrap.